हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरीवन थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग टूडेज वेबिनार माय नेम इज निकिता देवरे आई एम अ डिजिटल मार्केटिंग एग्जीक्यूटिव एट क्रेव इन्फोटेक बिफोर वी गेटिंग स्टार्टेड आई एम गोइंग टू गो थ्रू सम हाउस कीपिंग टू एंश्योर यू कैन इंटरेक्ट विथ माई सेल्फ एंड द स्पीकर फर्स्टली इफ यू विश टू आस्क एनी क्वेश्चन टू प्रेजेंटर वी हैव क्यू एन ए सेक्शन एंड चैट फीचर इनेबल वी विल ऑल्सो बी लॉन्चिंग अ पोल क्वेश्चन इन टूडेज वेबिनार we invite you to participate by selecting your responses when they appear on your screen we will have q and a session at the end of the webinar to answer your questions now i would like to welcome drasika and ashwin we are glad you could be here today to share your insights on webinar optimize and accelerate business process automation using sap intelligent rpa drasika is insight sales officer at crave infotech Uh, we also have Ashwin with us. He is SAP Solution Architect, SAP BTP at Crave Infotech, with ten plus years of industry experience. He has worked in solutioning and product development for implementing various SAP BTP and mobility based solutions for life sciences, pharma, utilities, retail, fleet management, healthcare, med medical billing, manufacturing, and logistics. His expertise include SAP BTP, S four HANA. Fiori, IRPA, Hana DB, and CAI. Now, uh, before application briefing and demo, uh, we want to brief in short about Crave corporate uh, portfolio profile and digital portfolio. So, without further ado, I would like to hand over to Rasika to start with the presentation. Over to you, Rasika. Yeah, uh, thank you very much, Nikita, and welcome all of you here for uh, today's webinar. a uh, good afternoon to all who are joining from the india time zone and good morning to all who are joining from other time zones uh today uh, we will be discussing on intelligent robotic process automation that is sap irpa how we can optimize and accelerate the business process automation using the sap irpa so just before starting the discussion on the subject i would like to take you through uh, very quickly uh, the journey of uh, crave infotech who we are what we do it will helpful for a better understanding of the crave infotech we are a 13 years of experience organization and operational from 2007 uh, we have shown here the major uh, mind uh, major milestones of organization right from the inception 2008 we are closely associated with the sap we have all three uh, partnerships with the sap in sale build and serve as well along with that we are also associated with the thebra here technology and other services organization like amazon in 2010 uh, we have expanded uh, to the global market and we have started our journey in enterprises mobility solution in a digital transformation with enterprises in 2012 and over uh, this journey uh, now we have a uh, 15 15 50 plus prepackaged solutions with us in a in a seam maintenance in a calibration in a warehouse management and many more which which i will brief you in a, in my upcoming slides along with that you can see here we won the multiple awards like sap ece sap pinnacle award sap business one award and many more so uh, so all these awards are for the creative and innovative solutions for organization so we have work uh, with the organizations for their transformation journey and there are two queries uh, queries whether software uh, to be built or to be buy and here we have shown with the help of a mckinsey that how crave can help uh, organization in digitalization journey to buy the right solution and to the customize it further with the right expertise and the experience like crave because uh, when you try to build a solution it may end up with the low roi it may end up uh, with the high uh, de high deployment time or it may end up with the no standardization and uh, these are the typical challenges which we observed and because of that more uh, more than 70% end users or organization get get failed or do not get succeed uh, in in their own uh, solution development so that is why there is a need of expertise and the experienced uh, and the exper experience like crave in a digital transformation journey so what we do and why crave if you look at we have 15 plus years of experience 
in the SAP consulting across the industries. We have 50 plus prepackaged solutions and we have uh, quality and the experienced resources as well. And we have already served uh, more than 150 plus customers successfully. We are associated with the SAP and along with that we, we, are, we have the partnership with the Zebra who is the global leader in the mobile computing devices. We have the partnership with the Here Technology, Amazon Services and the Google partnership as well. So including that, we are a 9001 ISO certified company. We are also having the certification for 27001 ISO certification and a certain other industry certifications which are really required for serving the global customers. And we won the awards like SAP ACE, SAP SID, SAP Pinnacle and so on, which was the very encouraging for us throughout our journey. So today uh, we focus on four, four business verticals, including warehouse management, field supply chain management, enterprise asset management, and intelligent management as you and intelligent uh, intelligent enterprise as you can see in the screen. So uh, these are uh, the major uh, business verticals, and we have uh, we have multiple solutions over here as per the industry requirements. So our unique approach is to take the organization from reactive to predictive way. The ultimate vision is for large enterprises and we focus on the applying advanced analytics like to take the measures towards the enterprises manufacturing and this approach is focused on the operations to prevent from the immediate uh, crisis with the real time observations with the predefined conditions. So this is the way we work with the organization in a consulting way with the right approach along with the right expertise. As you can see on the screen, uh, we are working with the life sciences industries, utility industries, engineering industries, manufacturing industries, and so on. So if you look at uh, on the screen, uh, you, you will find some, some client names like uh, in the life sciences, Sun Pharma, Doctors Ready. So these are some global uh, companies uh, who are leading uh, in the Indian market and the global market as well. Along with that, we have some major clients in the utility, uh, water, oil and gas and the manufacturing sector. So uh, we work with the services as well as the product. When I say product, we have certain solutions like Crave uh, warehouse management, intelligent field services, and the supply chain uh, management, and the Crave Inter and Crave Enterprise asset management, and so on. Along with that, we are also providing the services in a SAP technical and the function and the func and the functional consulting as well. Also, we are uh, serving our solu our uh, our uh, solutions to SAP BTP enablement. Fury enablement, different customized mobile applications for the organization. So as you can see in the screen, uh, this is the slide uh, which, which will show you the solution offerings of us in the, uh, in the marketplace. You will see uh, we are touching the every functionality uh, of the organization. So this is the chain diagram, which will uh, show almost 50 plus solutions, which are available on SAP, SAP uh, App Center. Also, we are work with the uh, we are working with the other non SAP clients as well. If you look at down left side, uh, the enterprise asset management. So we have complete portfolio there, including the maintenance, calibration, flexible scheduling, planning workbench to the dispatch. Also, you can see at the upside, uh, there is the supply chain. So in supply chain also, we have, uh, we have the warehouse, uh, which, is, which is our major vertical, covering the complete end-to-end -end, uh, end -end, uh, warehouse solution activity. In a supply chain, uh, we, we are covering the direct store delivery, vendor uh, side automation is covered, and also truck loading, unloading activity also get automized. Along with that, you can see in the screen, we have uh, the solutions for product lifecycle management, order to cash, a connect uh, asset and uh, human capital management as well. So uh, as, as you can see in the screen, 
and as i as i mentioned earlier we work closely with the sap so you can see some sap offerings here so we are working in a sap s4 hana we are working in a sap irpa majorly we are working uh, in a sap analytics cloud in a fury applications sap bp and sap ariba as well so this is about the sap offerings uh, which we served uh, which you can see uh, detail in detail on the screen so this uh, this was about the crave infotech and thank you very much uh, for uh, this opportunity to brief on that so now for, i will come to the today's agenda we will uh, discussing uh, how we can optimize our uh, business processes using the sap irpa where uh, we are discussing why I irpa the need of uh, robotics process automation and technologies future proof process excellence through uh, through sap irpa so we are showcase we are showcasing the use cases of uh, use cases of our served clients and uh, along with that we are showing the demonstration of the sap irpa followed by the q and a section so now i am handing over it to my colleague mr uh, ashwin kakkar who is the expert in a sap btp uh, over to you ashwin yeah sure thanks rasika and uh, good afternoon good morning and good evening to everyone um this is ashwin kartkar and i'm leading sap btp best practices uh for craven protect i've been working with craven protect since last 10 years and i'll be your uh, presenter today for sap irpa uh, use cases and i'll be taking some q and a session as well so without further ado i'll start sharing my screen and uh, we'll get uh, dive into the use cases Yeah, I'll, I'll take over, Rasika. Let me know if you are able to see my screen, Rasika. Yes, we can see your screen, Ashwin. Yeah, thank you. So the first uh, use case we're going to talk about is uh, the accrual automation. Okay, that is one of the use case we have done with our customer, and we are currently working other cases with them as well. so this uh, this specific use case is about uh, crop process automation which is being performed by the finance department ev at every month um, as a regular activity uh, in this operation they are basically collecting details from different department and uh, co collaborating that details into one single excel template so for this specific use case like they had around 63 departments which used to send uh their accrual details in an excel format and uh, the finance department has to like collect all those and then process them into a single template and then po uh, post that into the sap so as you can see this is a very manual um, activity and uh, required a uh, uh, good amount of efforts to perform that there are manual error which can be occur during this activity so there are multiple templates we are uh, like processing at a time and this is a repetitive activity every month you have to do this so uh, to to like address this issue uh, or like this use case uh, and uh, do some relief with the finance department uh, we have created couple of bots using sap irp technology now uh, i can say uh, we, it is being renamed as sap process automation uh with some additional features they have introduced into it so we have created a couple of bots which help them to um read the details uh, being sent from different department in excel format so bot picks that detail from excel and collaborate into a single template and then uh post that detail into sap so this will <coughs> reduce the workflow from the finance department also it will increase the efficiency of the processing and uh, uh also improve the accuracy of the data or the operation we are performing so earlier uh, this whole operation used to take like around 4 to 5 days to perform and uh, which is kind of stressful job to go through some all, all the template so now it is being reduced to the 10 minutes um which is uh, quite a bit uh, improvement in the performance um so with that what i'll do is i'll just quickly walk you through the use case i have i have a quick video of that 
So it will give, an, give you an, an idea like how that has been executed and what are the different components uh, which were in, involved into that operation. <clears throat> so um, I'll just skip through the initial part. Um, so this is something which I already talked about like why uh, we are using um, this specific scenario or use case um, to automate. And this is not just with this approval automation, you can take any of the example, like which where do you see the automation can bring value to your day-to-day -day activity. <clears throat> so I'll just keep doing this, jump to directly the, yeah, the demo part. So here uh, you can see uh, this is one of the sample uh, cruel template which is being received from uh, the departments so um, so now as soon as you send that on the email the bot will receive that from email and uh, process that detail in uh, from that excel so while processing the detail from the excel the bot will <coughs> also validate the details which are there in excel with sap uh, um, sap transaction details and uh, to do that we are using sap bapi which perform this operation in background and give you the uh, validation output so while we are doing this this data is being uploaded into sap to a z table for the uh, like as a temporary table i can say for, for performing the validation operation creating the scs entry and creating the template so yeah, we'll, we'll look into that as well So now what we'll do is uh, we're gonna run the first bot. So now uh, this is kind of uh, uh, attended and unattended station, or like both of the operation are working in parallel. So you can have also completely unattended operation where do you don't you don't want it to have any any of the interaction from the user. We wanted to run that uh, end to end without any input. So you can have unattended one. And if you see like there are some checks and balances you wanted to add during your automation you can have attended, but just for this demo purpose, we have kept it as a attended. So you can also see what is going on behind the scene. So earlier we were just, we were looking at the mailbox to see if currently there is no email, but after we perform the first bot, so it will gonna give you the output of uh, Excel validation in on your email with the um, output or the validation result. So this is the basically the Z table where all this data will be uploaded after processing. currently is empty so now we'll go back to our bot or irp agent so this is uh, we call it irp agent which can reside on your system or on on on, on a server uh, where you have all your SCP gui or whatever like you wanted to automate a web page so we can have that as a, uh, on that system installed so what we'll do is we're going to run our first bot to read the excel data so as soon as click on that, it will read the Excel data, upload that data to SAP Z table using BAPI call. So you will not see any SAP GUI screen open here. It will run in background, but you see there are some Excel, Excel files are being uh, operated and running. So now uh, once that bot run, yeah, you see that mail has been received. So yeah, once we open this mail, we can see that uh, there are there are details. These are the tables with records which were processed. And you can see if there's any record which is not performed, uh, you'll see the error message for that record as well here, which will notify you that some of the records are not processed in, uh, in the operation. We'll go to the next step. Yeah. So we'll, when you go back to the Z table and try to run that, you'll see uh, these are the entries which are being processed from the uh, accrual file, uh, input file which we have. It also has, <coughs> I'll go back a step. 
Yeah, it also has. It also has. Uh, uh, it also has uh, um, a CS entry which has been added into the um, Z table as well. You can say, you see here. So we have also written uh, and pro, uh, logic into SAP to calculate the SES based on the purchase order and add those into here. <coughs> Excuse me. Go to the next step. Yeah. So we'll run this next bot. The next bot, what it will do is, yeah, it will gonna uh, run the SAP GUI automation. So this automation will gonna take the details which we have uploaded um, from the Z table and create a template for the JV upload program. So this is uh, now a, a, like example of a UI automation uh, where um, you the 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 IRPA bot is doing all the operations. There is no user information here. All the uh, credentials and all things are entered by bot itself. So yeah, so you can see this is the uh, Z program which runs the uh, like uh, we have also created, which runs the um, 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 uh, like proper, uh, like uh, logic we have written there and create a uh, Excel template out of it, which is a JV upload uh, template. So we're going to look at the template here. So this is the template which is generated. Uh, you can see there are a couple of columns. So we have created the input and output uh, for this JV upload program. <clears throat> it also have all the details like currency. If there's any uh, like field is not matching, for example, currency that is there in accrual is uh, USD, but in actual system is INR. So our program will automatically update the, like uh, correct that and then uh, put that into the uh, Excel template. So now, uh, now we'll run the third and last bot, which will take this template and uh, upload into the JV upload program to complete the accrual process. So now we run the third bot to continue the operation. So all this operation like we are showing is attended mode, but you can have that, that in unattended mode. So where you don't have to like do anything, you just schedule the job, like for example, 2, 2 p.m. In, in the afternoon and it will run and get all the details processed. Yeah, so this is about uh, the first use case, which is approval process automation. <coughs> uh, I'll get, uh, jump to the second use case, which is invoice extraction and posting in SAP. So um, this is uh, related to same to the finance department where um, we are uh, extra like receiving the invoices from vendors. So <laughs> this is day to day activity where um, the customer is receiving <laughs> invoices from different vendors and there are like hundred and thousands of invoices at the end of month you'll see are being need to be processed. So uh, same like go, it goes to the finance department where they have to like go through invoice, get the, all the details from the invoice um, and uh, like manually read through them and uh, process the details and then post into the SAP. So um, they are like posting the details into SAP and parking the invoices. So to um, reduce this work, which is like repetitive, activity we are doing like a day-to-day -day activity uh, we have created a bot which basically reads the invoices which is coming on the email um, you and extracting the details from the invoice using OCR technology here you can use any OCR 
for our demo, like uh, this specific use case purpose, we have used third party OCR, but you can use SAP OCR as well as any third party OCR like IB or Google as well. So as soon as we have data extracted, uh, we are validating that data using uh, Papi call and then parking that, that invoice into SAP. In case there is any exception during this uh, whole validation process, data extraction from invoice and checking into SAP, uh, we are notifying the individual business user. Like for example, the um, the GST number for the for the vendor is not right, uh, in the, which is mentioned into the invoice. So we are uh, updating the vendor that they need to update, uh, like update that into invoice and send that back again. And for example, there is uh, uh, any um, mismatch into the bank guarantee details. So uh, we are updating the business department to uh, get that correct. <clears throat> so this is how that bot has been created. So this brings you benefit like uh, reduced in workload uh, of the finance department, faster processing time um, uh, with efficiency, you have less errors uh, while processing the invoice. So it was like it usually it used to take two to three hours for processing a couple of invoices. Now it can be done within like a minute or so, like two or three minutes, you can process your invoices and post it into SAP. So same like I'll again run through the video for the similar use case, this invoice posting. I'll skip through the initial part and just do the demo directly. <coughs> yeah. So this is the one use case. This is the one for sample invoices, which we have received from the vendor. I uh, can see there are uh, multiple details are here like uh, PO number, uh, WBS number, vendor number, and the material price and all other details. So we are reading these details using OCR tool. And then to read that, we are running the first part, which extracts the details. Uh, so as soon as we run the bot, it will trigger the OCR APIs. Uh, it will pass the invoice detail to the OCR API, which will extract the details, uh, which is shown on the screen. So uh, once these details are extracted, um, we'll run the second bot. So this bot will take these details and post the invoice into the SAP. So we'll run the second bot. So the notification you can see invoice is part. So we'll can now go back in, in SAP. Yeah, but before that we can edit it. Uh, you will get a notification on email that bought uh, the, the invoice has been uh, processed and the back again sent to customer. Then, yeah, so this is to show like the invoice has been parked into the SAP. So <clears throat> this is about the second use case. So there are other use cases which we have performed um, around uh, um, SAP IRPA, which are like uh, with the Ariba success factor. So with Ariba, we have done a couple use cases. Uh, there are also ongoing projects with the Ariba where we are um, automating the whole um, um, uh, bid, uh, bid management process uh, from receiving the um, PR or uh, like we can also like call that as a PR to PO process, right? Like from receiving the PR to creating the RFQ, uh, floating the RFQs uh, into the RIBA and then uh, having the NFA approval and uh, like alerting that to the uh, bidder and then creating a PO. So this whole process also, yeah. So this is basically under uh, development is almost in the final phase of this project. So we can probably bring that use case as well next time, just, but just to let you know, this is also one case we are working on. We are all, we have also worked with success factor where uh, we help uh, um, um, to automate the um, uh, employee uh, validation process. Like if you have uh, any, uh, if you are receiving resumes, right? From different, different candidate and you wanted to validate whether this candidate was an ex-employee, is he applying from the same department and then uh, if we, like if you have policy or you wanted to him to apply for the same department, then 
um, you can like generate notification, you can reject that candidate. So this process also we have automated using a RPA. With, with SAP IRPA, we have also worked on different uh, like uh, tools, like which is SAP CI. It, it also uh, can be a, a good case where we have created uh, a bot which uh, um, help you to uh, automate your employee man engagement um, process. So there were a use case where customer wanted to have. Uh, um, a bot, interactive bot, um, on a, so where we, they don't have to log in into SAP to apply the leave, and those people are like on the run, so they don't have access to SAP as well. So what we did is we created a bot uh, with the help of SAP Conversational AI, which is SAP CI, and we created a bot which runs on a Telegram. It can also run on WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger, and created a guided tour which will, which helps them to uh, address their requirement. And uh, another good thing about this bot is it's a multilingual, so it helps you to uh, interact with the bot with uh, your local language, like uh, they were having specific requirement for Kannada. So you can interact with the bot with Kannada and, and other languages as well, which are there in the Google Translate. Since we integrated Google Translate as our uh, uh, Google, uh, translation provider. This is the like SAP screen just to show you these are the leaves which are there into the system currently, but yeah, now we jump to the bot. This is the bot where you can start interaction, just saying any greetings to the bot, hi, hello, and anything. So based on that, it will gonna ask you your further communication language. You can say it English, Hindi, Marathi, or Kannada. So we'll just say like, uh, for now we'll take English for the first example. So as soon as you see English, it will gonna ask you what operation you wanted to do. But before that, you wanted to, you have to be authenticated into the system. So you need to just enter your employee ID and then you'll get a notification on your employee ID based on your uh, system details, HR system details. And so we'll pick the details from there and generate an OTP on that mobile number. So as soon as you enter the mobile OTP, you'll get authenticated, and then you can see your uh, leaves, uh, available leaves, and you can apply from there. So it's a completely guided tool. You don't have to type much. You just have to select the op options, like whether you wanted to apply for one day, half day, more than a day, or likewise, uh, you can enter the details. You can also enter the reason based on the work for de design on your system. So you can also change the option that you entered at last step, like when you to update the start and end date, you can do that without going through all the operation. And at the end, you can, yeah, you can submit the leave. So as soon as you submit the leave, you can go into the system and validate that leave. So other languages as well, you can see similarly, it works through Hindi. I'll just skip through other languages in the uh, Kannada, right? Same for other languages. So now we, if you go back into the system, uh, here you can see the three leaves are applied for all three languages. And these are the, but yeah, but it doesn't matter like in which language you apply the leave, but it will take the languages there in the system that the translation is being happened on the APIs while posting data into the SAP. So with that, I think I'll stop uh, uh, this uh, demonstration of the use cases and quickly give you some high level idea on how IRPA works. So this is the solution overview of ICP IRPA. Uh, it is still same today as well. So it has um, desktop studio. Now they also have a cloud studio, which is cloud version of the same tool, but with the uh, advanced feature, which is like you can now do local local development. Uh, cloud desktop studio was like more development kind of stuff, like it's more coding. But now in cloud studio, it is uh, no code, no code. Cloud factory is some something where you have all your orchestration or the projects being stored. An agent, as I said, is something as a your uh, interface or your your uh, uh, it coordinator between your your uh, uh, cloud factory where your project has created and your 
on-premise system solution like SAP, your uh, Ariba or any other solution. You can all like uh, Ariba, SuccessFactor, Conquer, or any other non-SAP application like Excel, Outlook, and So if you wanted to explore more, you can go to the SAP, um, SAP IRP store. You'll find there are like hundreds of uh, standard use. I think there are probably more than 500 uh, standard use cases like uh, uh, master data creation. You can create business partner. You can create a uh, uh, purchase order. You can create purchase requisition. So there are multiple uh, out of the box standard use cases where you don't have to do any development. You can use uh, um, trial licenses for IRP to test that out and implement that solution at your end and test that out. If you see, feel that it's bringing value to your business, then you can add more to that. You can do customization or you can bring partners who can help you with that. So I think with this, I'll stop uh, uh, my presentation and thank you for uh, being there. Uh, I think I'll, with that, I'll hand it over to Rasika. If you have any question, Q&A, we can help to answer. Yeah. Thank you, Ashwin. Uh, I'll be launching the poll question and I request all the attendees to participate by selecting your response. And then we can move forward to the Q&A session. Yeah, I think there is one question I see. Yeah, uh, by, by the time we are there entering, uh, there is one question I see. It will be subscription-based or client-based one-time payment. So I think it's a uh, subscription-based. But the licensing is very, uh, 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 I can say, cost effective uh, from SAP IRPA. So uh, we can like help you to understand the licensing or we can get involved one of the AE. But yes, it is a subscription based model like any other cloud services are out there. So the poll questions are on. I request all the attendees to uh, fill out the poll questions. I think that was the only question we had. So, so with that, uh, we can uh, end the webinar. Okay. Thanks, everyone. I'll end the poll questions. Uh, if any of your queries are not answered, I'm putting up the email contact at craveinfotech.com. Uh, you can contact us uh, there. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Ashwin. Thank you, Asika. Uh, we'll end the webinar. Thank you, everyone.